So what is evidence? With so much information available, sometimes it's hard to distinguish facts from interpretation. Take the stegosaur skeleton for example. This is the real evidence. Next we can make a drawing of what the stegosaur actually looked like when it was alive. This is called an artist impression. We should not confuse the drawing with evidence. It's probably a good guess, but there's a lot we don't know. This drawing does not add evidence. The skeleton remains the evidence, the drawing is actually fantasy. For example, we don't know what the color of this creature was. It may have been green, or yellow with purple, or grey, or brown, or... Hey, wait, what was that back please? What? This one? Yes, thank you. What is that? This is a drawing on an ancient Cambodian temple. Huh? And that shows a stegosaur? How did those people know what the stegosaur looked like? Well, it's not entirely sure it's a stegosaur. It could also be a nation rhino. Hmm. But what about the spines on its back? Uh... That may just be coincidental decoration. The head is too large for a stegosaur. Yes, that's true. But what about the tail? And it doesn't have a horn. Hmm. Yeah, you got a point there. Rhinosaur. No, dinosaurs couldn't have lived together with human beings because they got extinct 65 million years ago. So forget about it. And it isn't as clearly a dinosaur as other ancient drawings, such as this one from the 15th century tomb of Bishop Bell in England, or this Mesopotamian cylinder, or this ancient drawing from Peru, so we shouldn't put too much attention to it anyway. Oh, uh, oh, where were we? Yes, so the point I was making, the skeleton is the real evidence, and the artist impression is not.